Where's your daughter? <laughs> Where's the knife at? Oh, that's okay. You're so sorry. Ah, oh, you're so sorry. Get on out of there. Get on out of here. I'll pray. I'll pray. Don't you worry. I'm so sorry. This makes me wonder, it says that uh, the moments cops find nine-year-old stabbed by his 12-year-old sister. So she's the older, wiser person. She's the one that's supposed to be protective of her younger siblings. So nine-year-old is stabbed by his 12-year-old sister. She said sorry. I mean, what more do you want? She said she was sorry. I wonder if he was going through shit. I wonder if he was getting beat up by both of his parents. I wonder if... He was being driven around to get beat up and used for human trafficking. I wonder if he was being just uh, bullied at school. So the 12-year-old sister is just watching the 9-year-old get fucked over by every motherfucker in the world. And she wanted a piece of that ugliness. She wanted to do to him what she was watching everybody else do. And what she really wanted to do. I don't even know what the circumstances are behind this whole thing. I presume he's just lying on the couch peacefully watching Ren and Stimpy. And then she says, hey, hey, where's my Hot Pockets at? I had a pizza Hot Pocket and then, and then it's gone. But she had actually ate it. She misplaced it. She didn't know somebody else had. But she was going to blame him because who gives a shit, right? Fuck him and fuck his life. Fuck him and fuck his life. Mom of 12-year-old girl admitted to stabbing brother to death breaks silence. I'm wondering if we can listen to any of this. Is this going to tell us anything? Brother to death. What her mother is now saying about the unimaginable and heartbreaking situation. Dun, 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 dun. Crime for the Sidebar Podcast, I'm Anjanette Levy. This stabbing happened in January at a home in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The 12 year old girl, whose name has not been Oklahoma, of course, admitted to stabbing her nine year old brother Xander in his bed. R.I.P. Xander. The girl can be seen on body camera video running in the house, admitting to stabbing her brother and apologizing. Her mother, April Lida, enters the video here. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I don't know what to I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. What happened? So what what happened? Are we going to get to the thing? So you have, let's see, child abusing Caucasians. Of course, child abusing Caucasians are going to be racist and anti-Semitic. They don't even love their own children. They want to oppress, molest. They want to exploit. They want to attack their own kids. So child abusing Caucasians, they're going to be racist because... They don't even love their own kids, let alone, you know, a grown man of any race. They don't love themselves. They don't love their kids. So love the black man, love the white man, love their own kid. No, they're racist. Of course they're fucking racist. They're filled with ugly fucking violent hatred. And a lot of the child abusing Caucasians, they were racist first. So it's like, which one, the chicken or the egg? But they were racist first. And then when they, you know, realized that uh, slavery is no longer legal, they went ahead and had a bunch of kids and used their kids for slaves. Of course, religious people have to be child abusers, too. I mean, who the fuck is going to believe all that stupid-ass, dumb fucking shit? FDR and Lincoln was wrong. They said that this country is great because we got religious freedom. I don't know. I mean, Thomas Jefferson, he said it right. If you do your religion over there and don't fucking put on your little elephant hat and do your little fucking, you know, Tom uh, uh, Tom, you know, Paul, uh, uh, Paul, uh, uh, powwow. Do do your, you know, your your rain dance and do your whatever, motherfucker. Go to your kiva. But you're gonna sit there and tell me that donkeys are talking. Donkeys are talking, and then God farted, and then there was the sun. 
And then how did he make the earth and the skies without light? He made light the day after. He made the universe, but then he made light afterwards. Didn't he need light to be able to make the fucking universe? He made the universe in the dark? Fucking brilliant. He's the alpha and the fucking omega, huh? Like that damn Lori Vallow. Lori Vallow didn't love her children. Lori Vallow, could you imagine, you know, not only was it terrible, Lori Vallow used her pussy power in order to get her two children killed and for the man to kill her, his wife. He got the man to kill his wife and her two kids. That's how strong pussy power is? Fucking shit. You know, I, I flew to Texas one time chasing a woman. I flew to another state. So I've, I've flown to a, a state, you know, I've traveled a long distance. Child abusers have to be, religious people have to be child abusers because to believe in a talking donkey and to believe that all that dumb fucking shit, all them stupid ass fairy tale stories, it's like, are you a child? Are you a stupid ass child? Are you fucking kidding me? God damn, a petulant 15-year-old child, you religious bitch. You bunch of religious bitches. And since you are you believe in dumb shit nonsense, Lori Vallow, Lori Vallow had... Hey, can you keep it quiet? Hey, man, that's, <sighs> to, to believe in the nonsense, 